Hello everyone, today we will be diving into the Erasmus Mundus Joint Masters in redesigning the post-industrial city, okay? So we will be looking at a fully funded Erasmus Mundus program known as redesigning the post-industrial city okay right now we are on the home page of the program but before i continue i would encourage you to hit on the subscription button so that we get to go as a community also don't forget to give a thumbs up for this video all right let's get straight into the video Okay, so like I said earlier on, we will be looking at the Erasmus Mundus Joint Masters in redesigning the post-industrial city, okay? So let's see what this program is about. So this program is calling future urban thinkers who are curious and are interested in how we can revitalize post-industrial cities to join a European Master in Science developed by eight world-class universities within the scope of UNIC, okay? A comprehensive two-year study program with 120 ECTS fully delivered in English and with tailored mandatory mobility between the participating university campuses, okay? So the redesigning the post-industrial city is known as what? REPIC, R-E-P-I-C. That is a short form for this program, okay? The duration is two years. That is four semesters and it is on campus and full-time. The qualification is the Master of Science, MSc. There are tuition fees here, but we would be applying for Erasmus Mundus scholarships. And so it is stated here that Erasmus Mundus scholarships, that is full tuition fees, stipend, airfare, available for admitted candidates who apply before 1st March 2024. So we have to put the application in before the 1st of March 2024 to be eligible for the scholarship okay so the location is um the repic university partners in eight cities across europe and then like i said and um, the application deadline is on the 1st of march 2024 the language of instruction is in english and then the accreditation is also here you can read all about it you can even watch an introductory video by the consortium right on this page okay so now um, let's look at the universities that you have the probability of studying in. You are going to study in at least three of these countries, okay? Either Germany, Ireland, Spain, the Netherlands, Turkey, Belgium, Finland, or Croatia, okay? This is a map of the universities that you might be visiting, okay? So you can continue to scroll down and then read more about the program objectives and the rest. I am going to insert all the relevant links in the description so that access navigation and then application becomes very, very easy for you. That way you can be able to verify all the information that I am giving you here, okay? So now let's look at the entry requirements. But before we move to the entry requirements, I just want to highlight on the, um, the screen scholarship and then the funding so we would be looking at the emjm scholarships that is the erasmus mundos joint master scholarships so now we just scroll down and then it states here that the repic um, program consortium has successfully applied for funding from the european commission to provide erasmus mundos joint master scholarships to as many repic students as possible okay so emjm scholarships will be awarded to the best applicants worldwide chosen by means of a repic evaluation grade and respecting the required maximum numbers per nationality okay and in agreement with the eligibility and selection criteria and procedures established by the consortium as well as the specific criteria and procedures stimulated by the european union okay so this is the erasmus mundo scholarship i just want to highlight on um the financial component okay so the erasmus mundo joint master scholarship for repic covers the following a monthly allowance of 1400 euros to cover travel uh, visa installation and subsistence costs for a maximum of 24 months okay also a full tuition waiver and then health insurance in line with the eacea requirements okay so this is what the scholarship entails you are going to get 1400 euros per month to cover your travel your visa your installation and then your subsistence costs and then also there's a full tuition waiver and then there is health insurance for you as 
well okay so now let's look at the entry requirements and then the selection as well as the documents that you would need to be able to apply for repic okay so applicants from diverse backgrounds who meet their necessary entry requirements and admission criteria listed below may apply for this program each year repic may accept a study cohort with a total capacity of around 60 students Admission may be granted to applicants who are not in conflict with national legal requirements for admission and meet the eligibility criteria, okay? So, candidates from diverse backgrounds who have completed a bachelor's degree, preferably with a dissertation or an equivalent degree in a discipline of relevance to REPIC, that gives them access to a master's degree program and demonstrable experience in themes related to redesigning of post-industrial cities and design-related backgrounds including but not limited to the following field so if you have a bachelor's degree in either architecture urban design urban planning urban development geography civil engineering environmental engineering geoinformatics sociology public administration business studies culture media and visual arts studies or any other related fields of study then you are eligible to apply for REPIC okay so just bear that in mind now let's look at the documents that you would need to be able to apply for REPIC okay so first and foremost you need a copy of your passport preferably where you have your basic information and then your picture you scan that page and then you save it as a PDF document then you need a certified copy of your diploma that is your degree certificate from your university and also you need certified copies of academic transcripts okay mind you if these documents are not in English make sure that they are translated into English okay but coming from Ghana and Nigeria or any other African country where you studied in English all your documents would already be in English so you do not have any problem then you need um, a curriculum vital that is your CV in English mind you I am going to insert um, a link in the relevant resources where you can access a video on how you can generate your Europass CV within a few steps it is advisable to have your CV in the Europass format okay then you need um, an official proof of language abilities where applicable but I'm going to explain the language um, speaking abilities um, in a few seconds we will look at that and then you need what a structured motivation letter describing your specific interest in the repeat program and then your envisaged contributions to the program okay so these are the documents that you need your passport your degree certificate your transcript your CV and then a proof of English language speaking ability and then your motivation letter just the six documents and then you are good to go okay but then now let's look at the English language requirements applicants who are either nationals of countries deemed by repic partner institutions to be English speaking or hold a bachelor's degree or equivalent qualification which was taught entirely in English will normally be assumed to have met repic language requirements okay so just get an English proficiency from an English proficiency letter from your university and that suffices for any English language test that way you do not have to provide any IELTS or TOEFL and the rest okay so you are sorted on that and just get an English proficiency letter from your university and then you are good to go okay so one last thing that I want to highlight is the structure of your motivation letter okay so um, I'm going to insert a link on how you can write your motivation letter in four simple steps in the relevant resource it in the description however look at the motivation letter structure according to the consortium so once you watch that video you get an idea on how you can write your motivation letter and then you come back to the motivation letter structure as defined by the consortium to help to wrap up your motivation letter okay so the motivation letter should address the following structure okay why do you want to join the repic study program and which specialization track do you prefer 200 words single spaced okay do not exceed the word count i plead with you do not exceed the word count okay what is your disciplinary background or expertise and how does it match with the disciplinary requirements of repic okay and then what are the major challenges of post industrial cities you like to focus on in repic 250 words and what do you expect from the repic study program 100 words single spaced and then what kind of professional career path are you aiming for after repic okay 
So this is the structure of the motivation letter that you should be writing. Mind you, do not exceed the word count, okay? So that is it. These are the documents that you would need to be able to apply for Epic. And now we go straight to the application portal. Once you're on the application portal, it states here that um, the deadline, of course, is the 1st of March, 2024. But you have not yet started your application, so it's important for you to click on sign up okay once you click on sign up you'll put your email and your password you sign up a link would be sent to your email you click on the link in your email and just like that you start your application all the relevant links are going to be in the description and i definitely wish you all the best with your application stay blessed and i'll catch you on the flip side